Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, let's get started and find some values of x, given that x is between 0 and 2 pi. So we want to find x in terms of radians. And so we have tangent of x is equal to positive 2.7. So right away we can figure out which quadrants our answers are going to be on or in. Terrible prepositions. Um, so here, all of sine, cosine, and tangent are positive. So we're going to find a value here. Here, only sine is positive, but tangent is negative. So we're not interested in quadrant number two. But in quadrant three, we're interested in because tangent is also positive there. Here, only cos is positive, so we're not interested in that quadrant either. Um, okay, so to get started, we're going to need a calculator in radian mode. And it can plug in 10 to the negative 1 of 2.7. And that's what I'm going to do in real life here. 10 negative 1 of 2.7 gives us 1.216. And that is the value in the first quadrant. Oops. That didn't start in the at the origin. There we go. And we also need, oops, I accidentally erased it, but I just fixed that right now. Um, we're also going to need a value right here. And since we need that value in standard position, it's going to look like this. And the reference angle there, because we already know what this guy is, that's 1.216. Oops, let me just fix that because that looks terrible. It doesn't look like 1.216 at all. Um, but yeah, this angle here is going to be equivalent to that angle there. So that's also 1.216. So I can actually add 1.216 to pi to get this angle which is our second answer. So 1.216 plus pi. What is that going to give us? I'm getting 4.3576 on the calculator. So I'm going to round it up to, the, to three decimal places, 4.358. OK, so x is equal to 1.216 comma. 4.358. I have a few similar questions on this website right here. You should, uh, and I think you should check them out.